This week it's all about climbers on pots and trowels, which is brought to you with the support of Dalak and Cobra Garden. Hello, welcome to Pots and Trowels. We borrowed somebody's house for today's programme because we're going to talk all about climbers and what better way to frame your front door of the house than with beautiful climbers up the wall. And in this case, it's roses. These are repeat flowering roses that will flower from June right the way through till late September, October. And they really make an impact as you approach it. You can keep them flowering all the time by simply deadheading. And as soon as the flowers do start to go over and these are just going over here, it's just a case of getting your secretaires and just snipping those off like that. And what that will do will encourage lots of lovely new buds. And you can see here, there's loads of buds to follow. And if you choose one that's got a scent like this one, the perfume is amazing as you step out the door. So what I'm gonna do is pop round the back and see some other ways you can use climbers in the garden. Well, this is a, a good example of how you can mix different climbers together to get a really good effect and all year round interest. This is roughly east facing, so not a particularly sunny wall. So it's been planted with a mixture, but to start with, we've got this lovely climbing hydrangea on there, hydrangea petiolaris. That is deciduous, so it will lose its leaves in the winter, but they go a lovely yellow before they fall. But at this time of the year, it's just starting to come into flower. We've got those flat lace cap type flowers, lovely white flowers really really attractive in the garden and the foliage itself is very attractive and looks good if you do need to do any pruning on that the time to do it is immediately after flying it's just a bit of a tidy up but don't go too harsh back because it's the growth that grows directly from the wall that will flower next year so be careful with hydrangeas you don't cut too much off and then to give some evergreen growing through it we've got this lovely large leaved ivy there a lovely dark green glossy leaf it really is impressive and of course that is good all through the year and then further down this fence there's some variegated ivy a lovely one called gold heart and a yellow rose to pick out the gold in the ivy so lots of thought gone into it and it will look good all year round and then further down in the garden again to get more climbers and to get that vertical height just to add more interest and to pack as many plants in we've just got this archway here and it's a nice archway but once you get some foliage on it it really brings it to life and what we've got here is this golden hop these are fast growing plants they're deciduous it's a bit like a herbaceous perennial it will die down completely to ground level in the winter so this is one season's growth and here we are not even the end of june and it's got all at one side and over the top and it will fill out right the way through the summer and then trying to join it at this side there's a clematis that will get up there this is going to be one of the late flowering ones it will probably be flowering from august september through into early autumn so that although it's only three or four feet tall now, will meet this golden hop and you will get this wonderful array of foliage and flowers over there. And of course, the golden hop will also produce the flowers. So they're really decorative at the end of the year. And then of course, we've got more climbers on the, the fence there. So it gives that lovely feeling of enclosure. But this is a clever little area just here this is the corner of the garden and sometimes the corners of gardens are quite difficult to plant and design so what they've done here is they've put another archway up like this works very well and they've planted it with ivy now lots of people don't like ivy i'm a big big fan of ivy it comes in all different shapes colors and sizes this is planted with the same big leaved ivy that we've looked at earlier down in the garden and it's completely clothed this with evergreen foliage looks good all year round also good for birds nesting and insects in there so it's good for attracting wildlife and i'm just going to step through this into this little secret area in here that really is cool it's a place just to come and sit and relax so very cleverly done more climbers on the wall here and you can just sit down here bring a crafty glass of wine or a book and just escape from Jill if we lived here but we don't because we borrowed it and it's just this separate part of the garden and all you need to do with this really easy to maintain is just to trim off any of the pieces that grow over if you don't it will completely grow and fill the gap so it's just a case of tipping these back just so you've got a nice clear way into that but 
very cleverly done. So, good use of climbers in the garden, hide fences, hide walls, hide sheds, a nice selection of deciduous and evergreens, some grown for their beautiful foliage, some for the flowers, and it will really add that vertical element to your garden. Well, thank you for watching Pots and Trowels. Please tell all your friends about us. And next week, we're gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna answer some of your gardening questions. So if you've got something that's going wrong in your garden and you want it solving, then please leave a comment on our Facebook page. That's the Pots and Trowels Facebook page. I will then answer as many of your questions as I can. So we'll see you next week. Bye.